Okay, we're back. College cooking with the calm cater. What is the number one go-to for college kids to eat? It is ramen. I did my research. What we're gonna do is a healthy version, more of a complete meal of ramen. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this ramen noodles and we're gonna take the packet that's loaded with all the bad stuff and throw it in the garbage. And then we're going to use two cups of low sodium chicken broth, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of ground ginger. That's what's gonna be your Asian flavoring. Half of a teaspoon of ground pepper. So to make it more of a complete meal, once the noodles are cooked, we're gonna add a cup of whatever frozen vegetables you want. I've got peas and spinach. I mean, excuse me, corn and spinach. Whatever you like, because then you're gonna add more produce, more nutrition. You can add a half of a chicken breast from the, from the deli, or if you cooked up a bunch of chicken breasts earlier in the week, keep it in the refrigerator, chop it up, so you've got your protein, your vegetables, and your noodles. So we're gonna get started. Okay, so in the pot we have two cups of chicken broth, your spices, your teaspoon of ground ginger, teaspoon of ground garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna add our ramen noodles. Uh, I'm gonna break it in half, I think it's easier. Dump it in there, let it cook for three minutes. After about two minutes, you're gonna add your frozen vegetables though. And a little bit of your lean protein. You could do vegetarian, but if you want the protein, add a little bit of chicken. Kind of stir it around, kind of helps to soften up a little bit. You dump in your frozen vegetables and your lean protein. You could do cooked shrimp in here too, that'd be really good, but you gotta have them cooked, you don't want them raw. We'll give it another minute. Because frozen vegetables are basically cooked, you just have to heat them up. You don't want to cremate them. Okay, so you're gonna bring it back up to a little bit of a boil. Once you add, because the vegetables were frozen, so they were cold, so it's gonna cool things down a little bit. So you're gonna bring that back up. Then sesame oil, that's the big Asian tea. You're gonna do just two little dashes or one large dash. You can add a little low sodium soy sauce if you want to this. It's a personal preference. If you like that soy sauce taste, you surely can. You can add hot pepper flakes to this if you want it spicy. Give it one more minute and it's done. 